welcome back to the Ausgeri Bagpiping Championships 2023. Surely one of the most remote mini festivals anywhere in the world. These events have been going for a quarter of a century every year when the weather has made it possible. In part one, we saw the Kirkwall City Pipe Band get the day started. And the competition part of the day saw various virtuoso performances, including Mum's version of local classic Kirkwall Bay, alongside Andy Cant. Because we know that you'll have cleaned us out of beer. <laughs> Now, though, it's time for lunch. And in typical Orkney style, it's a collaborative affair with an amazing spread of food. Is that salmon on the spinach? Some of it's been brought by the musicians on the boats this morning, and Mum has provided an endless supply of home bakes. How scary is remote and therefore hard to get to, so it's amazing to see so many friends out here enjoying the incredible weather and entertainment. And after everyone was suitably fed and loosened up, it was time for a big sing-along by the whale bones on the other side of the house. So, many moons ago, the, the, whale, the whale that we see behind us, which is, uh, what kind of whale is that one? That one is the northern bottlenose. The northern bottlenose. 30 feet long when it was washed up. So this is a minky whale. So the story with this one. We went off to Rory's wedding and left Mira in charge of the island. None of the boys have ever found a whale, so Mira has the accolade of finding a whale. So we built a dike to house it. So today we're going to christen the minky whale. We should just get ourselves in tune. I, I quite like the verse, how oh, scary has got a stinky minky. So let's, <laughs> let's just do that one again first. And then we'll go on to the final verse. And the final verse is, um, now, now Mira the minky's not so stinky. So we're, we're going to go, <laughs> this, this is like when you go to church and you say, we'll miss out verse three and we'll go on to verse five. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to start with verse two, how oh, scary has got a stinky minky. We're going to have the chorus and then we're going to go to the final one. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so, are we ready? We owe it to the island. Okay, so and let's... And the minky. And the minky, so let's give it, let's give it. Okay. What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? When we're out on the scary. Mira found a whale when the pig got married. Mira found a whale when Rory got married. Mira found a whale when Rory got married. A lie in the morning. What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? How scary has got a stinky minky? How scary has got a stinky minky? How scary has got a stinky minky? A lie in the morning. What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? Well, we are going to scare it. Stick it on a dike until it stops stinking. Stick it on a dike until it stops stinking. Stick it on a dike until it stops stinking. They lie in the morning. What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? What will we do with the minky whale? When we are going to scare it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, May we ask Mira to come forward and name the Stinky Minky. Well, by the honours invested in me, thank you very much Theresa Simon and all the boys. Mira the Winky, the Minky Whale. So, are we, we going to do Billy's Bellina when we're here yeah, we're let's. live in concert? Now, what comes next will take a bit of explaining if you haven't been to the Ausgeri Championships before. It dates back to the early 90s when my oldest brother Rory was about three. A 30 foot long northern bottlenose whale came ashore, long since dead and very stinky already. My dad wanted to preserve the creature's bones and eventually we put up this whalebone structure in the garden. When Billy Jolly was still able to come to Ausgeri for the championships, he always sang a particular song next to those whale bones. 
Andy used to be his duet partner, but now it's up to him to lead the performance. Yeah, the Bellina was a, was a whaling song that Billy Jolly always sang. And, um, well, because your, your dad's keen on all the nature and wildlife and everything and, and has, uh, has taken up a couple of whales here and has got their skeletons sort of nicely laid out. So the, the, the ship, the Bellina, the Bellina would have been a, a, a whaling ship. Uh, and uh, it, was a, it was a song about that. So Billy Jolly always used to sing it uh, at, the, at the skeleton of the, of the whale, which was kind of nice. Uh, very special. And we have, we have actions to it as well, so that, that, that was all part of the fun with that one. But as I say, unfortunately Billy's still on the go. It was his boat that took us here originally, but he's, he's not quite so mobile as he was, so getting on and off boats and things uh, isn't the same. So uh, and Billy knows we're out here today and uh, he'll be thinking of us and we're certainly thinking of him too. Go ahead. That was good. Yes. So let, let's try that. Billy, where are you? I'm sorry. Come on, Billy. Are you there? Oh, the noble fleet of whalers out sailing from Dundee, well manned by British sailors to sail on sea, on the Western Ocean Passage, none with them can compare. There's not a ship can make a trip like Blina, I declare. For the wind is on the quarter and the engines run free. There's not another whaler a sailing from the knee can beat the old Bellina. And you need not try her on for we'll challenge all the large and small and Dundee to St. John. There's a new built Terra Nova, she's a model, there's no doubt. The Arctic and Aurora, you've heard so much about. No Jacklin's model mail boat, the terror of the sea, can beat the Albelina boys in a passage from Dundee. For the wind is on the quarter, the engine's running free. There's not another whaler sailing from Dundee, can beat the Albelina boys in a dry run. For we'll challenge all the lads and small for Dundee to St. John. Now Jacqueline carries canvas Sunday fairly raises steam and Captain Guy's a daring boy goes plowing through the stream. Now John says the Eskimo can beat the bloomin' lot but beat the old Bellina boys that find it rather hot. For the wind is on the quarter and the engine's running free. There's not another whaler a sailing from Dundee. Can beat the old Bellina boys and you need not try her on. For I'll challenge all both large and small from Dundee to St. John's. And now that we have landed boys where the rum is mighty cheap. We'll drink success to Captain Burnett for carrying us o'er the deep end. A health to all sweethearts and to our wives of fire. Not another ship can make that trip like a Bellina, I declare. For the wind is on the quarter, the engine's running free. There's not another whaler sailing from Dundee can be. The old Bellina boys, you need not try her on, for we'll challenge all both large and small, from Dundee to St. John. Yes, we'll challenge all both large and small, from Dundee to St. John. That's still in the same key at the end, first in the beginning. Well, that was kind of special having Billy with us yeah. today. Yeah. That was brilliant. Uh -huh. It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got, did Remy win one once? Probably. Can't remember. Now, with all the performances over, it's Dad's time to pick a winner. His decision making process is top secret, though, so I wasn't allowed to film. You reckon you've won it in the past? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was a confident, confident, oh yeah. In your <laughs> dream. <laughs> it's an interesting competition. I think the, the, uh, the, the winner is, uh, is undoubtedly very honoured to win, 
but I think just taking, it's, it's one of these things where definitely taking part is the fun thing and, and being here is the fun thing. That's, that's much more important. Yeah. I shouldn't be reading this one out, but apparently there was an honourable mention for creativity and spontaneity to Andy and Teresa, whoever that was. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, in third place was um, the drum ensemble, which was extremely good. In second place, apparently, new talent was Cliffy. Yeah. And in first place, I mean, I think this is biased. I'm sorry to say, but I think this is biased because it was Blue Skies over Owl Scaring. I think in first place, it's Raimi. You've got you've got a drink out of this. Oh. What are we going to put in here? Is it gin you're on? The winner traditionally drinks a dram of spirit through a cleaned and polished sheep's horn. Unfortunately, or fortunately perhaps for Amy, depending on how you look at it, this year Mum had to improvise as the horn had been left on the Orkney mainland. Instead, she decided the best substitute available was a clay model of a boat made by my brother Owen when I can only assume he was rather young. Let's drink to Billy Jolly for starting it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the beginning, yeah. Billy Jolly. Billy Jolly. <laughs> With one innocuous phone call. Can we just come out and play on the island? Is that okay? And look what happened. It was the Marbeth, wasn't it? His, yeah, fo his Marbeth, boat. He, came out on, yeah. he was kind of not in greatest nick even then. <laughs> but what, what a fabulous tradition he started. How many years ago was that? Well, I can run it not far off 30. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a, a roll call. Of, a good path. Yeah, it has. And long may it continue. It's yeah. been fantastic. And thank you very much, Jane, for organising it. You did a sterling effort. Unfortunately, it was nearly time for the first boatload of folk to go. So the pipe band prepare for some final tunes. There might not be many more of these, if, if any more, so how do you feel about that? Yeah, it, it's very sad to think that this is something that's become so special, but then you've got to think, well, you know, why is it special? It's special because of the circumstances, it's special because of the people, and, and things move on and, and things don't go on forever. And uh, I think that's what makes it special about you know, the likes of you making a recording of this today, and, and so we've got we've got memories of it. Um, and I always, you know, that's what I, I always like to you know, live in the moment, but then keep the memory for after. And, and memories are great things.
it is what it is at the time and uh, we've got great memories of it already and here we're making more memories today um, and uh, yeah you're right it's sad just you know everybody gets older and things can't go on forever uh, and times change and I, you know what's possibly been a completely unique lifestyle and, and, and way of, of living that you, your family's brought you up in um, and uh, you know that's that's maybe as you say coming towards the end of it we don't know how long that'll go on now but uh, certainly it's uh, it's been very very special and I'm very proud to have been and privileged to have been uh, part, part, part of these these days we've had out here and the fun that we've had. I do love this woman, Hamish. She, she's the best of the best. Oh, and it's your mum. <laughs> Saying goodbye would be the worst part of the day, but the sound of bagpipes and drums across the water as the boat leaves the pier is so beautifully poignant. But even then, after a perfect day seemed surely over, something incredible was about to appear. Watch closely on the left-hand side of the boat as it set sail for Kirkwall. I didn't even notice while looking through the viewfinder on my camera at the time. Mum later said she thought she'd seen something, but wondered if it was the gin talking. And then, as the boat drifted out of view, they reappeared. Oh my god, did you get that? <gasps> A pod of dolphins playing in the tide just metres from the end of the pier. Cetacean sightings here are usually rare because the sea has to be very calm to spot them. To see a pod of dolphins swimming so close to the low tide rocks was as special as it gets. behaviour we've never seen before, this dolphin can clearly be seen playing with a strand of kelp seaweed on its fin.
Thank you to all the musicians and friends who came out to Owlscary to make it such a special day. We hope there will be many more days like this in future summers, but we'll always have these memories to cherish. Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe to my channel for future episodes about life on Owlscary. Our